so today we are going to start with the first lecture and uh, we will be starting with the first topic of uh, this semester i'm start starting with linear programming problems so this is a very easy section so i will start with this thing now in linear programming problems we will first learn a very important concept now what is that important concept that important concept is called as graphical representation graphical representation so what is the meaning of graphical representation now i will draw first two axes which is two lines this horizontal line is called x axis and this vertical line is called y axis okay and this entire paper so i will draw a boundary of paper like this so this entire sheet or this entire paper this entire sheet is called as x y plane so this is called as a x y plane on this x axis we will write numbers so from here i will write zero this point then i will write 1 2 3 4 and so on left side i will write minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 1 2 3 4 manje upside on the upper side positive numbers and lower side la negative numbers minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and so on. so i have numbered the uh, the points on x axis and the points on the y axis right now because of this what has happened this xy plane this sheet the sheet that i had drawn that xy plane is divided into four parts what are the four parts called so basically we say uh, world is divided into countries similarly this paper or this plane sheet is divided into four parts and those four parts are called as quadrants so this part will be called as first quadrant this part is called as second quadrant this part is called as this entire sheet part is called third quadrant this is the second quadrant this entire region is called first quadrant and this part will be called as the fourth quadrant so we have divided the plane into four quadrants or four countries something like this now every person in this world has some address he lives somewhere in in news uh, in news or in some english movies you must have heard the word called as coordinates coordinates right now what is the meaning of coordinates so every person will have some address correct so for example if i look at this point suppose i'm looking at this point now what is the address of this person now the address of this person is i will first ask what is x how much is x x is how much 3 okay, so first is x x coordinate is how much 3 what is a y? then i will ask what is a y at this point the address is 3 comma 2 suppose i ask ask you some something like this okay what is the address of this point now so me bagnar x coordinate is how much x coordinate is 2 suppose i am calling this point q 
What is the y coordinate? The y coordinate is 3. Suppose let us go in this country now. I'm asking you what are the what is the address of this point? PQR. What is the x coordinate? The x coordinate is minus 3. And what is the y coordinate? The y coordinate is 2. If I take a person from this country or this particular thing, this particular quadrant, I'm calling it S. X coordinate minus 2. Y coordinate means you have put a line on Y. Minus 3. So the coordinates of S is minus 2 and minus 3. Let us look at uh, this particular point now. What are the coordinates of this point? Calling it point T. The x coordinate is 4 and the y coordinate is minus 2. Okay, so we have these uh, points in different different coordinates. Okay. So I hope this is clear to all of you now. X axis, Y axis, positive numbers, negative numbers, right? La. Um, I'm sorry, positive numbers right, negative numbers on the left. Similarly on Y axis, positive numbers on the upper side, negative numbers on the lower side. And then we got four coordinates, four quadrants. And then we are getting coordinates. I told you how to write the coordinates. When you write the coordinates, you will always write first the x coordinate and then you will write the y coordinate right for example uh, i give you point is suppose 3 comma 7 let me give you not let me call it a b c d a b c and d the second point is minus 2 minus 4 the third point is 4 minus 3 and the fourth point is minus 2 7 so what a, so now where is a point both are positive so both positive means this means that the point a lies in uh, in first quadrant what about point uh, what about point b both are negative so this means b is in both negative could has the both negative is in the third quadrant so b lies in the third quadrant what about point C? C is having one positive quadrant, coordinate and a negative coordinate. So positive and negative is in the fourth quadrant. So, so C is in fourth quadrant. And what about D? D is having negative first and positive second. First negative and second positive means D is in the second quadrant. Right. Okay. So let us continue. Now, once we know how to plot points, we will now learn how to draw lines in XY plane. So the next section that we will be learning is to sketch the lines. So let me write a section is sketching lines in XY plane. So we will start with simple lines and then we will move on to a little bit complicated type of lines. So let me first teach you how to draw. So let us write a question. Draw the line x equal to 3. So we'll draw the line x equal to 3. Now we will draw the x-axis, y-axis. I'm drawing small pictures. You also can 
draw small pictures in your notebook don't draw very big pictures this is x axis this is y axis now if i want to draw the line x equal to 3 on the x axis so i'll write here on x axis go to 3 so on x axis i know this is 0 this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 so other so i will not label all these points okay i don't really need them right now so i will not put the names so on the x axis i will go to x equal to 3 and i will draw a line i will draw a line passing through this point which point this point and parallel to y-axis and parallel to y-axis so this is the procedure that I'm giving you okay that is we will learn how to draw these lines later on how this line comes to be this but now as of now i will quickly tell you how to draw the line x equal to 3 just go to x equal to 3 and draw a line passing through 3 but it should be parallel to y-axis so this is the line x equal to 3 okay suppose i want to draw let me take one more example draw line x equal to minus 2 so what i will do i will go on the x in the xy plane draw small figures no need to draw very very big big figures on the x axis i will go to minus 2 so this is minus 1 this is minus 2 i don't need to label these points i don't need them so i will not write anything and again i will go to x equal to minus 2 and i will draw a line which is passing through minus 2 and parallel to y axis so this line is x equal to minus 2 what is the line what is the line x equal to 0 what is the line x equal to 0 it's the same procedure we will take x axis y axis and then here i have 0 on x axis and I will draw a line which is passing through this point but parallel to the y axis. So that line is this. That line is this. So what we observe is that x equal to 0 is nothing but it is actually the y-axis this line x equal to 0 is the y-axis so what is the different name for y-axis what is the equation of y axis so x equal to 0 is the equation for y axis that is equation of y axis because y axis is also a line so it must have some equation so what is that equation that equation is x equal to 0 
Okay. Suppose I ask you draw line y equal to 4. So what I will do now? I will draw the x axis, y axis. I will go to y equal to on y axis. I will go at 4. Okay, I've come up to this point and then I will draw a line now passing through this point. But now it will be parallel to x axis. Go to y equal to 4. Draw a line through this point. Parallel to now it will be parallel to x axis. So it will be like this. This is the line y equal to 4. So if I have line which is x equal to something like this, x equal to something then it will be parallel to y axis. If I have a line which is y equal to something, then it will be parallel to the x axis. Okay. So again a question. What is the line? Y equal to zero. So when I again go for drawing that line, this is the x axis, this is the y axis. What is y equal to 0? Here I will have this thing, and then y equal to 0 will be how much? It will be again this line. Correct? So this means that y equal to 0 is nothing but x axis. The x axis. That is. What is equation of x axis? Equation of x axis is y equal to 0. Now, what we will do is we will take one equation. We will take two lines now. Okay, so consider two lines. x equal to 3 and y equal to 2. Now we know how to draw x equal to 3 line. It is a line which is passing to 3 and parallel to y axis. What is y equal to 2? This is also a line which is passing through y equal, y equal to 2 and parallel to the x axis. And we will find the intersection point. Find the coordinates everybody knows what are coordinates coordinates of intersection point so it's very easy so I'll draw the diagram x equal to 3 this is So x equal to 3 is here. So this line is your x equal to 3. And then I have a line y equal to 2. So this is. And I will draw the lines. This is x equal to 3 and this line is y equal to 2 they are intersecting here and so this is the intersection point And 
what are the coordinates of this point? The coordinates are first coordinate, always we write x coordinate. What is the x coordinate? 3. What is the y coordinate? The y coordinate is 2. So the intersection point P has in coordinates 3, 2. So the answer is P has coordinates. P has coordinates. 3 comma 2 so we took two lines we find the intersection and then we write the coordinate of that intersection point now instead of taking two lines now let us take three lines consider x equal to 3 x equal to minus 3 and y equal to 2 so these are the three lines Consider the lines. Find all intersection points. So this is also easy. Sorry. So X is equal to one, two, and three. So this is x equal to 3 line. I'm drawing here. Then we have x equal to minus 3 also. We know it is parallel to y axis. This is the line x equal to minus 3. This is x axis, this is y axis. And y equal to 2. This line will pass through this. y equal to 2. Now where are the intersection points of these three lines? Okay, I hope you can see the three lines. The first line is this. The second line is this. This is the third line. Look at the red lines only, no blue lines. So where do you? So where do you see the intersection points? The intersection points are. This is the point. This point I'm calling P this point I'm calling Q. So what are the coordinates of 3 comma 2? In this point Q, so 3 and 3 and 2 and Q is minus 3 is the X coordinate and 2 is the Y coordinate. So these are the two intersection points. So two intersection points. P which is 3 comma 2 and Q is minus 3 comma 2. So these are the two intersection points. Okay. I hope it is easy to understand. I'm going very slow. Find the intersection points. Find the intersection points of lines x equal to 3 x equal to minus 3 y equal to 2 and y equal to minus 2 okay so how are we going to find this this is very easy so let's how many intersection points will we get we will get four intersection points i hope you can do this so x y on x i will go to 3 on y and minus 3 also on y i will go to 2 units and minus 2 units first line is x equal to 3 is like this
I will draw with a different color so it will be easy for us. This line is x equal to 3. This line, the next is x equal to minus 3 is here. Pass through x equal to minus 3. This is x equal to minus 3. Next is y equal to 2. It is here. 2 is here. So it is a line parallel to the x-axis. This is that line y equal to 2. Next is y equal to minus 2. This, this line. y equal to minus 2. So these are the four lines which I have drawn in red color. The intersection points are here. So this is the first intersection point is here. The coordinates are 3. First is x coordinate. Always remember first coordinate is x. It's 3 and y coordinate if I go on is 2. P is this. What is Q? Q. What is the x coordinate? By then the first x coordinate is minus 3. And second is 2. Third is PQ. Let me call this point R. X coordinate is here. Which is minus 3. And then look at what is the y coordinate. The y coordinate is on y coordinate it is minus 2. P, Q, R, S and this is T. What are the coordinates of point T? X coordinate. X axis. On X axis it is 3. And on Y axis. Y axis it is minus 2. Okay. So the four intersection points. So we get P. Which is 3, 2. Q. Which is minus 3 to r which is minus 3 minus 2 and t which is 3 comma minus 2 okay so these are the intersection points of the four lines you can you can for example i can ask an objective question on this so what what type of objective question will be asked the intersection of lines x equal to 3 y equal to 2 and x equal to minus 2 is First is 3, 2, 2 minus 2, minus 2, 3, minus 2, 2. Okay. So, what is the answer of this question? So, for so now, I will quickly draw the figure x equal to minus x equal to 3 is here and this is x equal to minus 2 and y is 2 so what is this point this point is x first and y second 3 comma 2 and what is this point this point is minus 2 and 2 So 3 comma 2 is also the answer and minus 2 2 is also the answer. Okay. So both of these are the intersection points. So A and D are correct. Okay. This is just a, this is just an example. Now you know in that whenever you are solving objective 
only one of them is correct so one of them uh, if I, I could have made this something else okay, and make only one answer correct so suppose i write here 2 comma 3 so the right here 2 comma 3 then this is not the correct answer in that case only first option will be standing the correct option okay